2023. I don't know if you guys are huge into resolutions or anything like that, but I have one for this year. I just want to make more videos. I really love making videos. I love filming at the gym. I love posting. I love talking to you guys, reading all the comments, reading, like, just having conversations, meeting people I would never have the opportunity to talk to if I didn't post videos on YouTube. But I'm losing it. I can't talk to a camera through a mirror. This is the dumbest shit ever. First way to start, brand new day, first day of the year. So I'm gonna try to cut my own hair. I got a buzz cut at the end of uh, 2022 and it's already growing up. Now it looks like a mushroom head. So I'm gonna try to cut it. And you guys will watch that. So good, good, good start to the video, I guess, I don't know. I genuinely have no idea how to do this. I've never done it before. I don't know, I think it'll be funny. So what do we got here? Go right into it, and then if we go right into it, we can't go back, right? So, we just stop. <laughs> All right, let's go. Just realized a fatal mistake. I can't see the back of my head. Okay, yeah, it's working. I already brushed and everything. The going out of bed thing was a bit. I, I swear I brushed my teeth already. If you guys catch me in a, in a hat for the rest of this video, that might be a move, honestly. I was looking at my faded up. Dude, that, that was scary. How am I gonna do the back of my head? Can, is it even working? Can you even tell? <laughs> From this side and that side? Oh, you can't even really tell. Hopefully. Progress update was. I can't see it, so you guys are gonna have to tell me. How's it look? Alright, guys, I'm gonna try to do. My best. <laughs> I'm try to do my best for the rest of it off camera. Oh, uh, like that's not how that works. Can you guys need to see. <laughs> Make it seem good, and then I'm gonna shower and try to see what it looks like after that. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys. So here's the final product. I mean, not awful. I, I think it's serviceable. You can tell me the back. I don't know, we'll see. Now we're gonna make a little pre-workout meal before going to the gym, and then we're gonna go hit chest for the first day of the year, because we're not we're not hitting anything else. First day of the year, there's no way, there's no way. Guys, I know this is looking a little different, but um, I really wanted to dive in a little deeper to my whole chest workout. Uh, a lot of people have asked me in my previous video to like show what I do for my chest. Like I know in the videos recently, uh, you just I'm, you're just kind of hanging out with me, Ty or Christian, like in the gym, like we're making jokes here and there. But I wanted like at least a couple videos on my channel just to be like going into what I actually do for all my workouts. So right here, I'm gonna lead off with the incline hammer strength machine. I think it's my absolute favorite um, chest machine. Honestly, I think it grows the top of your chest, the incline, obviously, gives the uh, that shelf look in your chest. So. I start off with a warm-up set and then I go into my second warm-up set here for the first movement only. You're warming up, getting the blood flow to the area and everything. So, you know, slow and controlled reps and then I'll go into three working sets after uh, this set right here. So this looks like it's going to be my first working set. For the warm-ups leading up to it, you guys can tell I did one play to start, two to go after that, and now I'm finally there. Like, I think I'm warmed up enough where I'm not going to get injured, I'm not going to get hurt or anything like that to finally actually execute the movement perfectly. So what I recommend for reps and sets, it's very different depending on how you train. Like um, I'm going for hypertrophy, trying to get the muscle as big as possible, which I'm guessing a lot of you guys want as well. Some people go for power lifts, trying to just put up as much uh, numbers as they possibly can. I'm going for more of the size and everything. I would suggest anywhere from eight to 15 reps. And I know that sounds like a lot, especially for like different parts of your chest and everything for every single movement. But if you guys are working on progressive overload, which you all should be, so you're not going in there and just training to get 12 reps on a number that you know you can get 12 reps on. You're pushing yourself the absolute hardest. And by the end of your sets, if you're only getting eight, I think that's the perfect weight for you. 15's a littler on the easy side, but if you're executing that perfect movement and just really getting the contraction on the muscle, I think that's beautiful. So anywhere from eight to 15. All right, taking off my sweatshirt here, let's go. Get it, bro. You lift, uh-huh. You looking big, dude, from future me. That, yeah, future me. So I do typically work triceps with the chest because you are using your triceps when you're working out your chest anyway. So I do throw it in there. I know some people do chest and shoulders. It's, it, you know, it's a push day. So I'm working out triceps in this. So if you guys want big triceps too, I mean, here we go. You are just, you know, executing the movement, keeping your elbows straight with this movement in particular. But I love this tricep movement. I think it's my number one overall for growing your triceps. So I think that's perfect to do after a couple of push workouts, especially if you're focusing on growing your chest over your triceps. I'm going into, what, what do we got here? Oh yeah, tricep push down as well. 
looking absolutely yoked, I must say. I don't know, I dude, I saw the shot and I was like, dude, you're looking huge, massive, whatever. You're looking good from future me, obviously. But yeah, same thing with the other tricep movements. You're keeping your elbows straight and really just pulling with your triceps. A lot of people you use a lot of your front delts or other parts of your body just to get the weight. I don't know what it was about this angle or clip or movement or whatever, but I look absolutely sick here. I look back on this and I was like, I love it, dude. Not vain at all. I just do it. I don't know. I was. It's very rare where you're you're very into bodily building. You're like, damn, dude, I look good. But going back on that, you're just, you know, like I said, you're really pulling with the triceps, trying to avoid using any other body part. Same for this one, actually. So with the pec fly, you want to look like you're almost hugging someone. Like there's someone standing right in front of you right here, and you're reaching around them, using pulling, like pull, pulling with your chest. Because a lot of times people, like, they're at a weight that's too heavy for them, or they're doing too many reps, and you see them just come in and collapse almost. And that's you're just using your whole body to get the rep done and not actually growing your chest. You know, getting those last couple reps, and I like it, I like it. Looking good for the camera. Holy shit, dude, let's go. All right, a little different angle, kind of the same thing. You just, this, I think this angle like represents a little more of what I mean by like hugging around. Like there's, a, like I said, there's like a pole right there and you're almost reaching around it. You gotta get your back against it, chest out, and just really like back the muscle. I know as dumb as it seems, but you really, mind muscle connection is actually a huge thing. I know I'm rambling on everything. First time doing it, I swear I get better, but. Yeah, no, this is kind of my go-to chest workout. And I got one more exercise after this for chest. And that'll be the decline, the bottom of your chest. So I kind of hit every part. The upper, just for the incline. The middle for the flat. Neck flies, I also hit the flat and the outside. And then the decline, that's hitting right at the bottom of the chest here. I'm a little bit different of an angle on this one, but I just wanted you guys to see like the bottom of the chest working. You're not pushing it with the, your top or your arms, your triceps or anything. You're really trying to get the bottom of the chest into this movement. And not a lot of people train decline chest, but I mean, I don't see a reason why not to. Like, what is it? It's not gonna make you grow more. It's just not realistic. So I definitely throw some sort of variable in there. And right here, I'm just posing, showing the pump and everything. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I like uh, posing and practicing to see how I look like. So when I do go on stage, I'll kind of have a visual in my head of like what poses look good and what don't. But yeah, so this will be the first run through of my, you know, entire workout, guys. Make sure to click the like button, subscribe, please leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.